column headings, A, B, C, D, and so on, and row headings, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, tell you where you are when you're typing, but they don't tell you or your readers what the text in the columns mean. Eventually, I'm going to enter some sales data for AdventureWorks, a company that sells sporting goods. But first, I'll type the column titles so that everyone will know what the information in the columns mean. I'll place my cursor in cell A1, and my first title is Product Category. Now, this looks a little odd, as though the contents in cell A1 is spilling over into cell B1. It's not actually the case. It's kind of an illusion. And, and I'll fix how this looks after I've typed the rest of the titles. I'll press the Tab key to move to cell B1 and type the next title, which is Customer Name, Tab, Sales Amount, and Tab, Year. Now to fix this, the first thing I need to do is to select all the cells that are, are affected. So I'll place my cursor in cell A1, I'll depress the left mouse button, and then I'll drag. The next thing I'll do is move my cursor up to where it says Cells, then Format, and I'll click the arrow on the format, and move the cursor down to Auto Fit Column Width, which simply means that Excel will make the columns the right size. If you'll keep your eye on the column titles, I'll go ahead and click this and you'll see what happens. My cells are still selected and the next thing I want to do is to apply some formatting to them to make them stand out just a little bit more. I'm going to move the cursor up to where it says Styles on the ribbon. Then I'll point at Cell Styles and I'll click the arrow on the button. What I've got here is a gallery of different kinds of styles that I could apply to the cells. The nice thing about the gallery is, is that I've moved my cursor over a style, you can see it in the spreadsheet, and get a preview of what something would look like before you pick it. First of all, I'm going to try Heading 1. Now if you look at the cells A1 through D1, you can see the style applied. It looks a little big to me, I don't think I want it. But by the way, if you did choose this style, it would be easy to once again change the cell width so that you could read everything in the cells because the style's so large it's making the text bigger. I think I'll try something else. 60% um, accent 1. If you look in the cells, that's okay, but it's a little pale looking. I'm going to move the cursor down one more in the gallery and try Accent 1. I think I like that. That just about is kind of bold, but not too much so. So I'll just click Accent 1, and there I've got the formatting in my spreadsheet. 